It's an amazing and busy time on the Highline Canal. The Highline Canal Conservancy and our partners are working on three big things this summer. We're looking at the plant life and how we can preserve and enhance that. We're looking at the trees and how we can care for them better. And thirdly, we're looking at the wildlife that exists along the Highline Canal. And you'll notice he's got kind of a reddish belly. Today, along the Highline Canal in Eisenhower Park, we're doing our first ever bio blitz. So a bio blitz is a time when naturalists and community members can come out together and explore wildlife in the surrounding area. Look at that, you guys! We're here for about three and a half hours just to do as much inventory as we can of looking at all the different wildlife. Bye! So we're looking for insects, we're looking for birds, mammals, anything that we can find out here. And it's the first time it's ever been conducted on the Highline Canal, so we think it's a pretty neat project that we're doing. This summer, Denver Botanic Gardens is partnering with the Highline Canal Conservancy to do a survey of all of the plant communities that occur along the stretch of the canal. This is an evening primrose. So this is a 71 mile long canal, and we expect to find a lot of diversity along that stretch. We're thinking we might find at least a couple hundred species from the foothills to the plains. Another really important thing going on this summer along the canal, and next summer too, is the care of the cottonwood trees. Many of these are very dangerous. Some of these trees have to be removed. They're a danger to the public. You may see some detours. There'll be signs out when this is going on. And then we'll be trimming to ensure the longevity of the remaining trees that are out there. Denver Water owns the canal, and as responsible stewards of the environment, we're looking at alternative solutions to get water to our Highline customers while preserving this important community resource. The Highline Canal was built back in the 1800s, but it's not a very efficient way of delivering water, and it was never meant to support the ecosystem that's grown up around it. As our operations change, it means there will be less irrigation water in the canal, so we're looking at using it to manage stormwater. So this has the potential to make the High Line a long-term public works benefit that could also support the Greenway. So all the work that we're doing this summer is part of a bigger plan. The High Line Canal is in a time of transition, and it's so important that we understand the resources that are along the canal so that we can plan properly so that it's preserved and enhanced in the future.